This video explains how to con construct a perpendicular line from a point not on a line perpendicular to a given line. Uh, first of all, what we're going to do is look at how we will uh, make that construction as though we were following the method for traditional construction tools of a compass and straight edge. And afterward, we will look at using the power of the GeoGebra software to uh, construct that perpendicular bisector directly. So what we're going to do is we're going to come up here to a the circle tool and using C as the center of our circle we will make a circle such that it intersects the uh, line in two places. And what we'll do is we will mark or put a point at the intersection of that circle in the line and you can do that in one of two ways like I just did or I can click on the circle and the line and it knows that that's the two I want you to put them on. So um, now what we're going to do is we're going to need to have a segment here And we're going to use that segment to help us create a uh, compass measurement. So I will come to the get the compass tool and I will click on the one end of the segment and then the other end and you'll notice that when I did so it made it so that uh, the radius of this circle that my compass is at uh, is the distance from H to I and I'll come up here to point C and I will measure a circle with center C that has the radius from H to I. I will get another measure here and come and put my circle at center E. And then the circles don't quite overlap so I'm going to just adjust this segment so that they do. Now what I want to do is place a point where these intersect and I could do it here or here, it doesn't matter. And last of all, I'd like to, uh, using my line tool, I'm going to connect those two points. The original point off of the line that I want to have the perpendicular through and that point of intersection. By just eyeballing this um, figure, it appears that this line we've constructed is perpendicular to the original line. But let's verify that by coming up here, getting an angle measurement tool, and say let's measure angle C, K, or GKC. And you'll notice that it not only put in a right angle measurement mark, it also, angle mark, it put in 90 degrees. So it is indeed um, a perpendicular to that line. All right, so that's how we can do this um, using the tools to simulate a compass and straight edge. If we are in a hurry, and we don't need to show someone that we understand the construction methods used with a compass and straight edge. Uh, we can do this same thing much more quickly uh, with GeoGebra. And I'll illustrate that now. I'll take and put a point right here off of this segment, this line segment, and I want to be able to, to uh, construct a perpendicular through point L to this line HI or this segment HI. How do I do that? Well, I just come up here to the perpendicular line segment tool or perpendicular uh, tool and come down here. Oh, and notice you'll say it notice it says select point and and line. So I will select the point and the line and there it is, a perpendicular through a point not on the line to that line.